Hi there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. So let's go and see our next question. Question is, what are the different layers in TCP IP model? Uh, I guess most of you might be aware with TCP IP model, but it's good to refresh it because when we are explaining our diagram or explaining our solution, sometimes uh, interviewers can ask questions around that and we should be aware that what we are talking about, what is the layer we are discussing. Earlier, if you see, there was an OSI model, which had seven layers. And in TCP IP model, which is very popular nowadays, there are four layers. So these four layers are mapped to the seven layers of OSI model. Uh, here, uh, these four layers are application layer, transport layer, internet layer, and link. So it's a much simpler system in TCP IP. That's the reason for our so, pop so much popularity of uh, TCP IP, and it's a practical system. OSI model was uh, quite theoretical, theoretical earlier, but there were like you know different companies who worked on it, and they are like on a very specific level. Whereas in our application, especially in software design, we talk in terms of these four layers. And as you see, application layer is the heaviest layer that we have. That is what our main uh, area of focus in our architecture. But still, we need to know about other layers. So application layer is the like this is the layer in which most of the applications or the processes they work and there's a lot of user data that can be created and we communicate all this data to other applications on another or same host. So in general, like uh, softwares on the same layer operate with the softwares on the same layer on another host. So that way the applications know how to deal with each other. And they follow similar protocol like http protocol is an uh, uh, application layer so most of our rest services can communicate to the rest services of some other system so the applications make use of the services provided by underlying lower layers that we can use especially the transport layer application layer heavily uses the transport layer and those layers provide the reliable or unreliable pipes to other processes and we just uh, deal with the transport layer as a communication pipe and there is like things like client server model or peer-to-peer -peer networking these kind of the things we observe in these layers and some of the popular protocols in application layer are http https secure shell ftp smtp so most of our mail services rest clients uh, internet world or web sites and all that all is happening in the application layer next is transport layer and transport layer is primarily related to host to host communication and it can happen within your local network or remote networks which is like you know you have to access some routers through that your data will be transferred so here we have a tcp and then we have a udp both of these protocols are pretty popular so TCP is like connection oriented protocol whereas UDP is connectionless. So whenever we have some kind of SMS and all they go via UDP and TCP is mainly of the internet world where we use TCP protocol. So down from TCP is the internet layer. Internet layer is the one where we exchange datagrams which is like packets across network boundaries like from one network to another network it goes. And this layer hides the actual topology of the underlying network connections. So, I mean, if you have like going from one network to another network or one ISP to another router and then to another company's network, you do not know what is the topology there. All you need is like some kind of an IP address or like, you know, DNS to reach there. So, in this layer, we establish the internet working and it defines and establishes the overall internet. And this also addresses the routing structures that are used in TCP IP protocol suit. And the primary protocol here that we use is internet protocol, which defines IP addresses. And IP addresses are two types, IP version 4 and now we have IP version 6. And the main function of this uh, protocol is routing the packets to specific next host so that our traffic can flow. And it functions as an like, IP router and the connectivity is established so that like from one network to another network the data can be fully transferred 
The last layer, which is the lowest layer in uh, the CPIP protocol is linked layer. It's more like a hardware or data link layer that we have. So this layer defines the networking methods by which we can uh, like you know communicate at a hardware level and this is the method in the which is the scope of local network link on which the host communicates and it doesn't deal with the in routers and all so this layer actually deals with the protocols which are used to describe the local network topology like whether we have a star topology or like we have a circus or like you know cycle kind of a thing what kind of different topologies that we have and it defines those interfaces, how the data will be transferred like along the hardware layer. So that way, this layer doesn't deal with a lot of routing purposes because the network and routing is handled in the internet. Here, mostly the data is in the local and MAC addresses that are very popular in this link layer. So it's good to know a little bit about those MAC addresses and link layer specific protocols but there are not a lot of questions that are asked around this so most popular questions are around application layer and then like in the internet layer these are more popular all right uh, thank you for listening and if you have any questions do post your questions and comments uh, in the comment section we would be happy to see your feedback thank you everyone and have a great day